breaking developments on the mystery sickness on the campus of Olivet College. The count has gone to 49 students sick and taken to the hospital. Now most are out now, but as 24 News 8's Tom Hillen is finding out, fire department investigators still can't figure out what's going on. Tom is on campus tonight with the very latest. The dean telling me tonight that since 6 o'clock, about 11 more students have gone to the hospital after not feeling well. All the students are coming from Blair Hall behind me, which will remain closed tonight as investigators are still working to find out exactly what is causing these students to get sick. It started last night with a few students complaining of being dizzy, nauseous, and having a headache. It continued today with more students. The fire department was called just before noon. When they got here, they found a male student who had collapsed to the floor and was unconscious. We don't know what uh, might be causing this, but ev everything's on the table still uh, as a consideration. The fire department says when they got on scene, they started to check the building for carbon monoxide. Let's make sure it's not CO. And we turned the monitor on and going through everything and, and got nothing. Blair Hall is an all boys dorm with more than 100 students living in it. Many of them are athletes like football freshman TJ Stevens. As more and more people started leaving ambulances and stuff like that, I get a little bit nervous about what's going on, just wondering. It was at football practice this afternoon that he decided it was time for him to go to the hospital and get checked out. People were leaving there to go to the hospital, get checked out. People weren't feeling good. I, I had a headache all day, so I decided to go with them just to get checked. The college says they did alert all students as to what was going on and checked other buildings for CO that six students said they had been in. All of those checks came back negative. Our number one priority is the safety and health of our students. The dean tells me that they have installed about 40 carbon monoxide detectors in the hall just as a precautionary measure. She also says that they will be bringing in more equipment tomorrow to run more tests, still trying to figure out exactly what is making these students ill. In Olivet, Tom Hillen, 24-Hour News 8.